Well, here's something I thought I would never say. I made plans a month in advance for me to drive eight hours through lots of damn traffic to go from New Orleans to Atlanta for the sole purpose of visiting a fun spot. And the reason why is John Airy decided to build this monstrosity off the side of the road in a park where this doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to pretend it makes any sense. But am I glad it's here? Oh my god, this thing is sick. Anyway, um, so this is Air Force One. Um, a week after opening, um, the newest uh, RMC in the country, the world, the newest coaster for a little while, whatever. So um, as you can see, I'm just entering like through little barricades. Like there's just the roller coaster hanging out over there. Like you're about to see that this park, other than the uh, elite world class roller coaster they just added to it, is um. A piece of shit park. I mean, like, the, the juxtaposition of having such a ridiculous coaster in such a nothing. Like, I would never visit, fun, even if I was, like, driving past Fun Spot, I would have hesitated. Like, do I really need that little SBF Visa credit? I mean, that's what the other thing is that matters. Right? Like, there's a kitty coaster in Hurricane. It's ENF Mile. Ooh, exciting. Um, well, anyway, so, so we're going inside here, Fun Spot America. And as you can see, um, just dirt parking. It was free today, so I can't even bitch about that. But what's up? What, what the fuck is up with this tree? Why is there just a full-blown tree right in the middle of through traffic in the beginning of the damn parking lot? Like, what the? F why don't they? Why don't they take that tree down? Like, is, is it like some like preserved tree? Like, like the the tr the fun spot tree? Like the fuck? So I mean, this right here, you know, doesn't look very, you know, very new or clean or excellent. But it doesn't really matter because um, the thing that I wanted to visit was um, was open and I got my credits and well, I was stuck in traffic with my friend Michael who, the, um, you may, might have remembered me talking about him on the channel before, um, the last time he went to a park with me we went to King's Dominion and he's lost his glasses two seconds into the trip and he was blind and then couldn't go to Busch Gardens Williamsburg, it was too cold, it was just the worst. Um, only got to ride two coasters. It was just like the worst coaster trip ever. And we, and he decided to be a true player and uh, try again. That was my alarm going off. You might have heard that, whatever. It's, I had some obligation I needed to do. Um, which I'm clearly not doing because I'm not going to interrupt this video. I'm going to try to record this all in one take. Anyway, so we tried again. And thank God because we, we, we were... We only wanted to have like five hours at Fun Spot, but it ended up becoming two and a half because uh, people in Atlanta don't know how to drive. It's like destruction derby in this motherfucker. I mean, we four accidents in like 50 miles. I mean, it's crazy. And we were laughing right here. Like, could you imagine we made this whole drive and all of this nonsense for it to be like just <laughs> sorry, Airy Spot, Airy Force One, Airy Spot Force, Airy Force One is on the list of closed rides at Fun Spot. You see that in the top left corner, Golden Ticket Award Breakthrough FEC. FEC stands for Family Entertainment Center. That that coaster that doesn't matter. I don't like it. <clears throat> Oh, it was open earlier? Because that bitch was closed when I tried to ride it later. Shit, I could have ridden that credit. That sucks. It was closed. I didn't get that credit, and I thought it wasn't open all day. Well, man. Anyway, um, Family Entertainment Center. <clears throat> that basically means a glorified Chuck E. Cheese, you know, like Dave & Buster's with a couple amusement rides. Like, it's really not me. And they were calling themselves that. It's literally a step below a music park. It's like... FEC is step one, amusement park is step two, theme park is step three, and like destination, like Disney and shit, is step four. This is step one. Um, except it's like they took, you know, that option on Roller Coaster Tycoon where you can get like a custom layout and just click a few buttons and just drop it from a helicopter, you know, just randomly in a place where it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Here's that in real life. Um, John Airy must be a hell of a roller coaster enthusiast or really loves himself. I mean, of course he loves himself naming the coaster after himself. Um, and easily the worst roller coaster name I have ever heard. Like, you know, like Fart Coaster and all that crap and, and in Europe and all that. Wood Coaster. Those things shit on the, the name of this roller coaster. Airy Force One's a horrible name. 
I, look, I, I, I'll get my negativity out of the way because I like this ride and all that. But that is a bad name and it sucks. And John Airy, come on, man, have a little more modesty and humility. Like people are people are making fun of you exclusively rather than celebrating your stupid name. Re also inside, restrooms and bumper cars with a K. Restrooms and bumper cars. What's the deal with merging those two things together? Because I don't really understand that, and I think that's fucked. Um, <clears throat> um uh, it's, it's fine. As you can see here, it's really just a glorified fairground. It's like a fair before they even put the rides in. Down there, you kind of see a flat. Pretend Air Force One is in there, because I know what you're looking. It's, it's like half the screen. You see all this cracked pavement. Just huge open pavement area with nothing there anti ans and and then and then just imagine no air Air force one now look at Air force one how does this goddamn ride make any sense here i don't i don't know it's it's wild anyway um to those of you who think that every rmc has wood on it no this is pure steel it is a all steel an all steel custom layout and i really hope this is largely the future of rmc's because of course we love the conversions but they're limited to the layouts of where the you know the original footprint of the original rides take a look at this crazy thing they just had like a random extra strip of land hugging the side of a road and then a long path hugging their very themed, very excellent wide footpath um, that already existed in the park. And they just fit an elite RMC into this footprint. How did they do that? It's unfreaking believable They have the same ability that Gravity Group does and Gerslauer does with their Infinity models and stuff to just cram the most amazing intense shit into the smallest footprint ever. They've entered the creative uh, compact coaster game because it's thin as ice. I, I was, I was, I think it was John Airy himself who said that they couldn't have gone any more to the left or to the right than they did on this lift tail part with the zero G stall, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is me walking up, seeing it in person for the first time, and I was actually really anxious about whether it would open because until that point, I did not see a train cycle. I guess it was bad operations or downtime or whatever. No, 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 I found out what it was. They were saying that it was, um, <clears throat> it overshot the brake run earlier in the day and sent it for some downtime. And that's a story I might get to later about um, this coaster might change later. I hope I remember to talk about it. Anyway, look at this thing. That high five element is so cool. This speed, it looks sped up. It looks sped up almost in the same way that like um, the uh, single rails look sped up. But it's fucking going that fast. It is so absolutely intense. Yeah, I get to ride my cute little Air Force One. Now look, this is a Friday. This is a weekend, um, weekend evening. Ah, it, mm. And I saw the, oh, the crowds on the opening Friday as well. It's walk on, walk on, walk on. I mean, like, nobody was visiting Fun Spot before, and it's not like they're gonna just 100x their clientele overnight when they add a world class ride here. That the locals don't care about shit that much. Um, 18 million dollars to drop this here, 12 dollars a ride, or 36 dollars for the day. That kid over there, I met him. Nice, uh, nice, nice dude, man. Kid, why did I say kid? I, he's like full grown adult. Um, sorry, please, no disrespect. I, I'm just used to kid because most of the people who talk to me, like in the beginning of every video, is a child and like this breaks the mold. You're not a kid, you're a complete adult. I'm an asshole. Um, what was I even talking about? Uh, so there's there's red and blue track, and man, I lost my train of thought with my insensitivity and whatnot. So this was my first ride after Air Force One, and I'm first ever Raven Trust Dive. What a fake ass record. Um, the truth is that I expected it to be a fall around my number 12, slightly beating Iron Rattler. It did way better than that. Um, I didn't really know where it was ranking at that point. Um, I knew that it was better than Iron Rattler pretty easily, but it was about to get better. And over the day, it just got faster and faster. And I'm like, well, I really see how it overshot the damn brake run. 
and they were running one train off. So as a result, the red train was over on the other side, fucking off. This thing is going cataclysmically freaking fast. It was unbelievable. And it got to number eight. It dethroned Millennium Force. And here's my, my ultimate opinion about this thing now. Um, it is, so I, I was talking in a previous video about there being three tiers of RMCs, right? Um, tier A, or tier one, whatever, is the Steel Vengeance, Iron Gwazi, Lightning Rod tier. And I'm assuming Zadra and Hakuge, but I'm not, I, I'm not one of those speculators. That's fake, fake news. Um, then there's Twisted Timbers, Outlaw Run, Iron Rattler, Twisted Colossus. I consider that the second tier, and then at the bottom there's the rejects like Storm Chaser, Twisted Cyclone, and Joker, which is insanity to call them that because they are still amazing rides. I mean, this manufacturer doesn't know how to fuck up. Except, actually, they kind of do because um, I think they maybe um, engineered this a little... Uh, they didn't compensate for this. It's faster than it's supposed to be. It has to. You got Amusement Insider dude, Austin, saying that the bitch, it's too much going into the end when you've got this like 5x like monstrous yeet ejector people bruising their thighs and saying like dude i don't know if they should have dropped it to fewer hills you know that maybe maybe they did do it a little too much but the thing is there's me i love that that's exactly what i want it tickles my fancy in every freaking regard Every element on that fucking ride, it's, I'll give it one thing, it's got the pacing of Iron Gwazi, if not even like 1% better. Uh, the first drop is not the best drop, even Iron Rattler has a be be uh, better first drop. Check out this worthless fucking arcade. See, I'm sitting here rocking a damn Mean Streak shirt, you know, wrapping it up, and I love how like eight different people recognize my Mean Streak shirt when there were like 45 people even in this fucking park. Anyway, Airy Force One, um, I consider it on the same tier as those Elite Three, plus two, whatever. Like Steel Vengeance, Iron Gwazi, and Lightning Rod, I consider this an equal. Um, the only and and then it's more intense than Lightning Rod. Look at how ugly it looks like fucking shit. This floor, it's it's you know not diving off the Smoky Mountains. It's not 20 miles long like Steel Vengeance, and it's not you know the absolute chaos of Iron Gwazi. And it's off, and it's off the side of a fucking road, which I just—it's crazy. Yeah. But it's got the exact same intensity and thrills and holy shittery, so I can't fault it for for that in any regard whatsoever. I mean, this coaster doesn't belong here. Look at this park. So you you just saw world class RMC that I considered on the same tier as Steel Vengeance. And then on the other side is this fucking bullshit. I know the park has a huge future. They're going to get another big ride or whatever, and they're going to clean this up. But as it stands, this is the funniest, weirdest fucking park to be, like, the most discardable thing ever. Like, self-proclaimed best family entertainment center. Like, literally not calling yourselves an amusement park. And then you add Iron... Iron... You add, iron, you add something equivalent to Iron Gwazi. Anyway, my friend went to order some pizza, and I just was like, good, thank God you're hungry, because I know you, I'm, you're not going to want to join me for credit number 324, uh, which is going to be Hurricane Coaster, um, and I don't blame him. It was going to be 325 at this point, because I wanted to get the kitty coaster, but it was closed, so well, that's fucked. Um, I didn't really care for that. See, I think I just fucked up. I was calling through 24, but then I didn't know how to get to it. So in the interests of transparency, um, I want to give you proof that... I, I don't know really what I'm proving, but I just make mistakes and I let myself... I let you see them. And that's it, really. I, I, here's, I fucked up, so I have to walk around. So I'm, yeah, I'm about to ride 324 and instead I've run, I run into a fence. So I'm going to keep going uh, on more, just very themed, very gorgeous, absolutely looks like Dollywood over here. Um, you know, recycled, bought out of garage sale looking, <laughs> flat ride, trash can with an American flag on it. Amazing, absolutely incredible park. Um, <laughs> and now uh, here's the piece of shit that decided to close when I wanted to ride it. I mean, fuck that, man. 
fuck. I mean, I'm sitting here. I don't even know if they let me ride the damn wacky worm boat. Oh, fuck that. I wanted the credit. I didn't get it. I ended up getting the, the Fury 325 credits um, on my next little thing at Six Flags Over Georgia, which is my next video, by the way. Because Joker Funhouse Coaster, four visits there, and visit number four, they actually decide to open that stupid shit. Very excited. So I ended up getting that kind of, like, that milestone credit that I wanted anyway. You know, milestone of 325. That's, you know, the number people strive for all the time. I'll come in here, like, is this even closed? The ride up. Yeah, man. You just, just stand there. You're good. Just wait for the ride and and don't don't fret. I'm about to give you your hurricane ride. And I'm so excited. Um, well, I mean, hurricane at Fun Spot Kissimmee, the apparently the king of ENF milers was really fun i fucking actually enjoyed it quite a bit um it had forces you wouldn't even believe for you know this glorified pinfari wannabe looking thing uh this is the 38 foot model while well, that was the 52 and this one while not as amazing as the bigger one it's still suspiciously fun like I had fun on that, especially near that. Especially near the end, it had um, it had some little pops of something, something that I really didn't expect out of it. And hell, I can't really complain about. You see the fucking car just on the road right behind it. This literally is is a family entertainment center off the side of the road in South Atlanta, Georgia. Where they just decided to add Air Force One. I cannot stop this. Like this recurring thought. Like this mo motherfucking roller coaster doesn't make any sense. Here. And they're never going to get a return on their investment. Unless. I, I hope I'm wrong. I really want to be wrong. It's in everyone's best interest. Including my own if I'm wrong. So let me manifest that I'm fucking wrong. But that was a ass investment and I don't know where that footprint will make sense in any other park because it's just a big long L because it was designed to fit exactly only in this park so that this will likely be its final home look at me like trying to narrate not 325 it's 324 because oh my god it's they closed the wacky worm only because they knew I was coming um, ooh, those lights are trippy and fucked up. I know this footage doesn't look very good. Um, guys, what are you supposed to do at night on GoPros to make it not look like this? This is actually way better than my last time when I tried to fix what nighttime footage looked like in my Tropic Falls video, and as a result, it ended up looking so horrible that I never published my Tropic Falls video. I showed you a snippet if you want to look at the Crap Coaster review for blue bullshit, rolling thunder bullshit. Um, anyway, I digress. Uh, we're walking back one final time toward Airy Force One, and it's... <laughs> they didn't put a light package on the ride, and like someone said on another channel, it's kind of cute because of the white supports, and you've got the very nice light package on the also kind of misplaced Ferris wheel. Like seriously, just a Ferris wheel off the side of a, just a just massively wide open path. Imagine building... This really does look like a beginner park and roller coaster tycoon where you hit the money, the t plus ten thousand dollars button a few times, a few extra times on like the little cheat code, open RCT, whatever looking thing, and then you got bored very quickly. You know how you build like a wide ass path coming from the front gate and like a little, a couple little like little side line bullshits to put in a couple flats and like a crappy little coaster, and then you you'd use the glitch because you were bored. And then boom, you unlock the best coaster in the game with infinite money, and and you within the confines of the narrow land because you didn't buy more land, right? Then you put Airy Force One in that son of a bitch, and then you're like, your mom calls you to dinner, and then you hit save, and then never return to that project again. That is fun. Sorry, I'm screaming. That is fun spot Atlanta. That you're, you're looking at that stupid ass situation in real life. There's Airy Force One coming one more time in a place it shouldn't be, but I'm not complaining. I, I won't stop being incredulous because this is batshit crazy. These G-forces, this return run is some of the most violent ejector airtime I've ever experienced. Before that is one of the most intense helixes I ever experienced with two of the fastest barrel rolls I've ever experienced. 
which looks like they're being taken and fast forward. That high five is e that you're looking at and above or whatever is like equally good to the one on Iron Gwazi. The zero G stall is amazing, and the one thing that I think Air Force One has over every other roller coaster here. I'm sorry, every other roller coaster that's made by RMC is that it does one two punches better. It seems like every element has a whoa or something rather than a oh. I know that I'm this is awful the way I'm doing this, but every element has a part one and part two. Like it yeets you to the left for it, yeets you to the right. You do the hokey pokey and you it it every element ha feels very sustained and expansive or something i don't know it, it just it's really pleasant all of it feels good and you have these one two punch elements followed by more one two punch elements there's really no break no downtime no wasted steel everything is so well thought out um there were a the, the, the guys like walking up the stairs right next to me I was chatting with them for a while there was also a guy wearing a fun spot shirt from the other Florida stuff I don't know if he worked with them or if he was an enthusiast but very nice guy this this hobby brings like the nicest damn people roller coaster enthusiasts are, are on the most part great except for the people who could think that uh, you need to convert every wood coaster into an RMC because it by default makes it better you people are fucking assholes that is not true wood coasters have such a completely different aesthetic and life to them and they just feel like completely different amusement rides there's a reason that old timers split steel and wood coaster rankings it's because they have fuck all to do with each other they really are different shit and for you to say oh there's just some guy with, uh, on, with a hot take like, oh man, the Voyage, you can you, you consider fun. Voyage the best coaster in the world? Well, if you let RMC take advantage of that track, then it would be even better. Don't you ask, dick. That's not true. It would, that coaster wouldn't make sense. It would have nothing to do with anything. Bad opinions. I don't know what I'm doing here, really. I think I'm confused. Oh, I, oh yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for the uh, train to like go or something. Anyway, um, one thing I, I guess I should conclude talking about that I introduced the topic on earlier is that the thing overshot the break run earlier. And guys, I don't need Coaster College to be making a video about people dying and shit. No, it's fine. It's safe. RMC is not making mistakes like that. But the thing is going so freaking hard that there's rumors circulating as a result of it that they might have to trim this thing because I was told that within the week, the week that it was open, that it overshot the bitch five freaking times. And the way that thing was com coming hot into the station, it was hitting the brake runs like a brick wall, like incredibly intensely fast. And I can see that that thing is running faster than engineered and they might, or in, intended at least, and that's probably why they might have to trim it, which is rough as fuck if that's the case. And I will honestly give a 50% chance that they're gonna have to do something like that to fix the problem of it slamming into this, the brake run. Um, and if you are at all worried about this, then and that maybe we might have a lightning rod part two on our hands you need to get on this thing as fast as possible because i don't want to have to tell people hey i got the only unnerfed rides on air force one whatever you know ring racer energy just just get on this thing as fast as you can because just in case i hope it doesn't but i you know i hope i'm not jinxing stupid shit manifesting stupid shit look you gotta ride air force one while watching videos of an idiot not turning his camera off. Holy shit. Wait, I caught it. Wait, Air Force One, 11 out of 10, get on that bitch.